Pictures, DNA, medical records, anything to help investigators find missing people in Colorado. Today, the state hosted a missing persons event and the families of missing loved ones were invited. Denver 7's Mike Iliopoulos was there. Well, the point of this event was to offer resources to families who have loved ones missing. Families gathered today in Denver to connect with investigators, share pictures, and bring in any information that can help them crack these cold cases such as medical and dental records. And today we spoke with a family who says no matter what, they're not going to stop searching. Each of these people has a different story, yet all share one thing, they're missing. Some cases are only a year old and some go back decades. It's some like a cloud, dark cloud over your head that doesn't go away. This family of a well-known 31-year-old case in Colorado made the trip to Denver from Colorado Springs. Linnea Beta's baby brother Christopher was snatched from his crib in the middle of the night. It happened in 1986. Linnea says their mom, who recently passed away, never gave up on trying to find her youngest child. Some of her final words to the family. She did let, let us know that she couldn't give up looking for her son. She just couldn't give up. And tonight, they're not alone. Hundreds of people are missing in Colorado. Linnea and her family came to be with the other families at the missing persons event. Um, we have a lot of friends here that are also going through similar situations. We help each other out. We talk to each other. We build each other up. No matter how long or what it takes. We, we want justice for Christopher. We don't know what happened. The Abeda family says they'll keep searching for answers. In Denver, Mike Leopolis, Denver 7.